how is it going guys back with another video for you guys a little not necessarily tutorial video but just a little inform <clears throat> excuse me a little informational video I guess so to speak um, in this video I'm going to be talking about Pixabay a lot of you might have heard about Pixabay by now but a lot of you may have not and that's why you clicked on this video um, so we're just gonna go over how Pixabay can be useful for creating design specifically for merch by Amazon or Teespring, T-Chip, whatever you may want to be using for this. Um, so basically what Pixabay is, like it says, free high quality images, over 800,000 free stock photos, vectors, and art illustrations. Um, now you gotta be careful with this. Now just because it says free and whatnot doesn't mean you can use every image for your commercial use now you'll want to read the fine print um, I don't believe it's down here but down in the FAQ you can check it out down there terms and conditions and whatnot but um, at the end of the day what I would what I simply do is is like let's say right now I'm looking for Christmas um, let's see yeah let's just say Christmas decorations for example so I will just look around for one that I may like may want to use for illustrator whatever let's just say I want to use this for like a background or something so I'll click on this free download free for commercial use no attribution required so see they pretty much let you know right off the bat you can use it no big deal doesn't matter which cool I mean that's actually pretty lucky that I found that not that I'm gonna use it but for first try that's pretty good but let me try to find one that may not be well this is by the same guy okay let's click on this one okay it's free for commercial use okay well I'm having good luck let's say that let's say that at the minimum but for the most part let's just say that this here would not say free for commercial use whatever <clears throat> sometimes it'll come out and say that it's for personal use only blah blah blah, blah. but pretty much you want to dig as deep as you can figure out if you can use it for commercial use and you just want to pretty much be over protective essentially of yourself like being ignorant is not an excuse for having a violation against you or anything it's just not worth it just if you can't find it after a few minutes just give it up and move on it's not that big of a deal it's not worth the trouble um so that's my little spiel on that but back to pixabay <clears throat> got coughs gets might be starting to get sick um so pretty much i mean i already searched one let's just say i wanted to do um dog lover I don't know I have like animal lover stuff all on my head today for some reason um, <clears throat> so let's say you wanted to use this one so you take it you would just simply free download and then you can download it for whatever size you may wish you can download it as a vector which is what I usually do um, but you can do whichever you want. I personally go with vector graphic. Download. Please log in. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not going to log in right now. It's not a big deal. But pretty much, it's that simple, guys. At the end of the day, all you have to do is simply make a profile. It's free. No stupid stuff. No sketchy stuff going on. But then pretty much, it's just as simple as that. You just go up here. Search for whatever you may, <clears throat> you wish for design reasons or whatever. And then you just simply go over to free download. Like I said, make sure you can use it for commercial use. You don't want to be having anything sketchy going on. So just make sure better to be safe than sorry at the end of the day. And then just hit the free download. And then boom, it'll be downloading at the bottom of your screen. Then you can upload it into your Illustrator or Photoshop, whatever you may wish to use it in. And boom, it's done. Just simply like that. Um, the good thing about Pixabay compared, because like I know a lot of you are probably like, what's the difference between this and like Google Images? Well, Google Images is really a lot more hard, like it's more hard, more tough to know if you can use a picture or a clip art or whatever for your commercial use. Like it's harder to like find out. 
Like you have to actually somehow get a hold of the person that took the picture, made the clip art, whatever. Compared to Pixabay, like you all saw previously. Um, it's just, it's almost right there in front of you. If not, it only takes a couple minutes to find it. But most of the time it is, like right there, it'll tell you whether or not it is free for commercial use or if you need to give some kind of contribution or whatever. Um, but a lot of times you don't have to give a contribution, but sometimes you may, who knows, or sometimes it's just not up for commercial use. You never know. So at the end of the day, you just got to be safe. You got just don't be ignorant. Just it's not worth the few dollars you're going to make off the design. Just if you can't find it, move on. If it's not for commercial use, don't use it for commercial use. Simple as that. But like I said, it's just a lot easier to me. At least it's been more easy than Google Images or um, Bing, whatever you may want to use for images, um, Getty Images, whatever you may be trying to use right now. To me, it's just easier, quicker, just everything's better about this than all those, just for that simple fact that it's easier to tell whether you can use it for commercial use or not. And it's easier to just download it, download an image in vector format and whatnot, which makes it obviously a lot easier to use in Illustrator and Photoshop. So for those two main reasons, that's why I would definitely suggest going into Pixabay, even just trying it out, just surfing around on it, see if you find anything you like. Um, like it says, only 800,000 photos. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not a lot when you think about it. Go search Google Images sometimes. See how many images come up, like millions. So, I mean, this isn't a lot, but it's still quite a bit. So, like I said, just surf around on there. See if you find anything you like. And let me know how you guys like in the comments below. Let me know if you've had any bad experiences with Pixabay or if you've used it really well. If it's been used really well in your company with your merch or Teespring business, whatever you may have going on right now. And yeah, that'd be great. Just let me know how it works for you guys. I know I just started using it about a week or two ago. I've been really getting back into merch lately. And yeah, I'm just trying to help you guys out now that I got this screen recording thing like I mentioned in previous video. Um, definitely going to use it to my advantage here and help you guys with a whole bunch of websites and tutorials and whatnot in the near future. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And like I said, go check out Pixabay. It's definitely pretty legit and it's free. That's the best part too. Like free, 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 free. But just be safe. Make sure every image is free and for commercial use. I can't stress that enough. But I hope you guys have a good day. Hope you like this video. And go make your money, guys.